Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso on SABC3. Now, for anyone that has participated in any form of long distance running, they'll be sure to know of Africa's greatest export from Ethiopia, Haley Gebro Selassie. Now, the 41 year old two time Olympic gold medalist is in South Africa to offer some inspiration to all the runners participating in the Two Oceans Marathon. And Graham got the chance to catch up with the great man yesterday. 41 year old Haley Gibra Selassie has won two Olympic gold medals, held the marathon world record for three years, and is still considered one of the greatest long distance runners of all time. Ali, it's well documented that you began running out of necessity. First running to school barefoot over 10 kilometers. Back then, did you have an inkling of an idea that you would become a champion, certainly achieve the things that you've done today? Yes, I did. I mean, uh, especially, you know, just uh, things in my mind uh, when it came after uh, Moscow 1980. Athlete, you know, from Ethiopia, his name called, you know, Merus Iftra. He won, you know, 5,000 and 10,000 meters. Since, since 1980, you know, just I grew with, you know, just uh, as a champion, as a, like, I want to be like Merus Iftra. And uh, 1987 uh, was a school competition, and uh, I had a chance, I mean, to win, you know, that 1500 meters. And <laughs> oh, wow, start to think about, you know, I mean, running a race. I know it's almost impossible looking at the glittering career that you've had and the list of achievements that really is mind blowing. Do any stand out? What are some of your proudest moments? Uh, my most proud moment, of course, in you know, Sydney 2000. Uh, if you look you know, just at just that competition between me and the Kenyan athlete Paul Tergat, we were very close to each other. That's the Sydney one, it's a really amazing one. An estimated 26,000 running enthusiasts from all over the globe are in Cape Town to take part in the annual Two Oceans Marathon, the most beautiful marathon in the world. Taking on the two oceans for the first time, do you have advice for those novice runners who are now about to approach this, this massive uphill climb? At the end of the day, it's just running. It doesn't matter how, how far, how many kilometers. Uh, it's painful. If you're painful here, it's painful. Yeah, 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 exactly. But you know, just you forget you know, just your pain. As I mean, as soon as you finish the race. Let them enjoy the rest. Let them, you know, just a feeling, you know, of running. How does Cape Town stack up as a venue for a marathon, or in this case, an ultra marathon? To come here, you have everything. You have a you know, beautiful city, a beach, and you go up, you have a mountain, and what do you need more? Does that mean we'll ever see you taking part in the two oceans? I wish, you know, just to run. I think at least, you know, just to finish the rest. Maybe not to win, <laughs> but at least to finish the rest. <laughs> yeah. The Two Oceans Marathon continues to capture the spirit of road running in South Africa, and you can catch all the action live on SABC2 from 6.25am tomorrow morning.